Hello everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about one of my favorite games of all time, Deep Rock Galactic, and how it forges camaraderie and friendship through its very purposeful design elements. Those being the four player classes with unique abilities that work well together, the setting, and the lighthearted and humorous tone of the game. So for those of you who don't know of the game Deep Rock Galactic, it is a wave-based cooperative first-person looter shooter. The game follows a group of four working dwarves assigned to go down to the caves of an alien planet and mine resources. But the planet is infested with many different enemies, and there are many different tasks that they must work together to overcome. I'll start my discussion off with what I think is possibly the most important element to the game being cooperative, and that is the four unique classes that all feature completely different unique playstyles and abilities that bounce off of each other perfectly. To begin, the scout the mobile support class, whose main abilities are his quick movement speed with his grappling hook and his ability to light up dark caves with a flare gun. The engineer is next, who features the ability to create turrets and provide fall damage canceling platforms for his team teammates to use. The driller is the third, who has large drills to terraform and make tunnels. And lastly, the gunner is the all-rounder of the team, who does a lot of damage and has a shield to get his friends out of danger. The reason I think the abilities of the classes are so important to the game is because they bounce off of each other so well. Take the example on the slide, for instance. Up high in the wall is an ore. The party wouldn't be able to reach that easily without the scout's grapple hook, but the scout would also struggle to get it himself if not for the engineer's platform on the wall. <coughs> Other fun combos might include a well-placed shield to revive all your teammates after a near party wipe, or how about a driller digging a tunnel to safety while the rest of the team guns down the tunnel at the enemy's chasing. Even within the community, there's the infamous bunker strategy, which features digging a large hole and plugging it up with a platform so that enemies can't reach you. The setting also contributes to making teamwork necessary. Certain classes fare much better against certain enemies than others. The driller and engineer may want to focus down the horde of small and weak enemies, while scout and gunner will want to focus the ones with more health, or the ones that are off in the distance, causing havoc with ranged attacks. <clears throat> Beyond just the enemies, the caves are generated in a ways to encourage the team to stay together. Dirt walls blocking off new tunnels encourage the team to stay together. Not knowing what's on the other side of the walls means that you may want to wait for your team to be there and ready before you go recklessly dying alone in a new area. <sighs> Even when not in direct danger, the friendly team environment is encouraged through the lobby. In the main room, you will find four dorm-style rooms, one for each player that gives your friends a real in-universe reason for being there. The bar in the lobby is also clearly designed for four people in mind, having four identical spots for beers that you buy to show up. <sighs> many aspects beyond the, beyond the look and feel, many aspects beyond that look and feel like they were designed to house four people at once. The spaceship you take down to the caves features four seats, the mission terminal has four keyboards, the memorial hall has four statues, and even more that I won't mention. This can leave the game feeling much more lively and fun when you're in a full lobby. Bouncing back to the caves, there are many different mission types and objectives that force the players to work together. See the escort duties mission, the escort duty missions drill dozer, a drill on wheels that the team has to stay near and protect and move, or refueling a sal in a salvage operation mission where the fuel where the ship fuels faster if everyone stays within a certain distance of it. But perhaps one of the best designed elements comes in the form of the mule, a deposit point for a dwarf to store any precious minerals they may find in their exploration. Since the mule is rather slow and only one exists in any mission at a time, it forces the four dwarfs to stay near each other if they want to be able to empty their inventory without minutes long wait times. <coughs> Finally, I think a somewhat overlooked aspect of the friendly environment are the voice lines for the dwarfs. The voice lines when, when you hit a teammate with a bullet are often made up insults that are humorous. For instance, calling your teammate an interplanetary goat or a blindsided pig helps players helps keep people from getting too mad when they accidentally get shot in the back. But perhaps the most well-known voice line comes from the game's salute function, or maybe better known as the rock and stone button. Did your team just take out a difficult enemy? Then everybody cheers at once. Just found a large vein of gold, another group cheer. This function really gives the sense that everyone is working together and genuinely happy to be there. To end the presentation, I think Deep Rock Galactic is excellent at giving its players the feeling of genuine desire to work together as a team that other team-based games can sometimes struggle with. Through careful development of mechanics, the people at Ghost Ship Games created a masterpiece in co-op that other games should strive to mimic.